Now I've got a little game here that I'd like you to play. Now you've got to remember this is completely voluntary. Nobody's going to ever force you to do this. It's more something that you've chosen to do uh, when you could have done any subjects at A level. Now the game itself, um, age from sort of 16 to 18, uh, this is most people are playing the game, although some people do it when they're a little bit older and they come back to it. The other thing is for at least 40,000 players. In England, for example, uh, a couple of years ago, 30,115 people took, uh, took the actual exam uh, from mainly AQA, OCR specification A, as well as other kind of exam boards like EDUCAS, Edexcel, WJC. Um, but you are playing directly against all of these other people and everybody else watching this video. They are your direct competitors and the better they do, well, you've got to basically be doing better than them to kind of get the A's and A stars and these top grades. Uh, it is obviously quite hard, as I'm sure you realise by now, but let's have a look at what's inside. So inside the game, uh, what we have is some equipment. You don't really need too much, you know, calculator, pens and pencils. And I've got another video that explains a bit more exactly about what you might need. Now, like all good games, it has to have a rule book, and the rule book is called uh, the specification. Now, this thing here, you do need to read it at some point. Make sure that you get the right one for whichever exam board you're doing. This is just an, an OCR one. And the thing is, um, these rules are very, very clear, but also very long, boring, and detailed. And a lot of it is aimed at what the teachers need to know. But there's no reason why you should not read this, okay? There's links to it on the exam board websites and also on my website as well. So uh, a lot of this is just, you know, for the teachers, why they should choose it. Um, the things that you need to know about are the structure of the exams. How many exams do you have? How many goes do you have at them? How long are they going to be and what's in each exam paper? Also, as part of the rules, you need, you know, this actually tells you what's going to be in the exam, or it tells you what isn't going to be. And it's really when you look at the content of all the modules, this just lays out exactly what you do and don't need to know about. And it's really important that you know about that as you're learning the material in the first place and also especially when you're revising. And again, I do have some uh, kind of specification checklists which I'm making, but I do have more to do. Um, so basically this, this is the rules, okay, this is what the exam is written about and it'll tell you what exactly what you do need to know about and what you don't, because different exam boards do have slightly different rules. But basically, print this out, have a read of it, it is important. So the rules, follow them and just treat it like a game. And then finally, this is the actual game itself, okay, played over the course of a couple of hours in the summertime, um, at the end of a, a couple of years worth of study. And again, you are playing against everybody else about it. There's only a certain proportion of people can get the A grades and the B grades and top grades. So you are competing directly against everybody else watching this video. All of you, although you can maybe help each other to, to prepare for it, when it, get, when it gets down to it, it's all down to you in that exam hall for a couple of hours. And basically, it's just a set of rules that you've got to follow. The better you follow those rules, the more you know about and actually understand the game, the better you're going to get on at the end. And again, uh, what you win is basically uh, different letters. Uh, and, you know, the closer that letter comes to the start of the alphabet, the better uh, it is. So that's pretty much all uh, you have for A-level physics, some equipment, a set of rules called specification. And, uh, you know, that's it. Treat it like a game. Remember, this is your own choice now. You're over 16 years old and it's up to you if you want to play or not. But if you do play it, uh, there's some big kind of cash money prizes to come in later life as you probably increase your earning potential. So it is worth it, but it is hard. Thank you.